Good morning, this is Faithlin with Elegance Veless. I am going to do two quick, easy Valentine's DIY for you today. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome and thank you so much for choosing to watch. I hope that you will love these DIYs and decide to join our family. Become a part of our family by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you so much for your time and your support and let's jump right in. What you're gonna need is a Dollar Tree love sign, and they are very popular right now. You'll also need one of these little uh, rectangle um, shape decor, I'm assuming <laughs> they're just a decor. You'll need a tissue paper of your choice. We're going to decoupage. You will also need spray paint and your glue gun and your glue sticks. You will also need scissors. So I have finished decoupage and I love the way that that turned out and spray painted it white, the, the board. Now I've got some roses that I'm thinking I want to incorporate into this DIY. So guys, this is how it turned out, and I want to go ahead and add a generous amount of glue. Onto my love sign. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that it is even on all sides and press. Want to hold that in place. So this next DIY is going to be a Valentine's tree. Now I've shared with you guys several times now that I love uh, incorporating Christmas into Valentine's and so that's what I'm going to do. And I hauled it from Hobby Lobby. It was $11.99 and 90% off. So I got it for about $1.19, which is fabulous. I want to incorporate it into this tree to make it full because I want to have red and white. And then I'm going to add some of the Valentine's garlands as well. So what you're going to need for this project is some garlands. I have the Dollar Tree garlands and I have some red and white garlands. If you have your Christmas still around, definitely use it in this project. You're gonna need a tomato case. You're also gonna need some cardboard, which I went ahead and glued to the bottom of the case. You need your glue gun, glue sticks, scissors, and your razor to cut out your cardboard. You're also going to need some fairy lights. It's up to you if you want to use your fairy lights or not. You can do it without a light, but I'm thinking I am going to use 
my fairy light, I'm going to go ahead and glue it right there on the bottom of my tree. Then I'm going to begin to string my light. Okay guys, so I went ahead and add the fairy lights around the tree and I think it looks great. Now I'm going to take my white and red garlands, which they are held by some wires. So I want to open out the wire and put the tip of my tree within that wire and begin to twirl. Once you've gotten to the bottom, you're gonna add a dab of glue just to hold it right on the wire. So guys, I'm on my second garland, Dollar Tree garland. So I add a little bit of glue and hold it in place onto the metal. And I'm just going to go around in a circle. So guys, quick and easy, this is the tree. I'm gonna go ahead and place it somewhere so you can take a look at it with all the hearts. Now I did go ahead and glue some of the Dollar Tree garlands to the bottom where the cardboard is so that it can lay flat onto the ground. So let's go and take a look at it. Okay guys, so here's the tree. I absolutely love this tomato case tree. I shared with you guys at Christmas time, one that we did, and I'm loving this Valentine's one as well. If you do like this tree, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. 